All right, I'm Nifty Thrifty Girl on eBay, and um, I make videos of machines that you're considering buying on eBay. We service, restore, and offer these machines to you, and I make videos of these machines in action so you, the buyer, know that you're getting a sewing machine in good working condition, and you don't have to just trust pictures or a description. This is a Kenmore Model 1601. One of their top of the line models of the day. Um, it's from, I believe, 69 to 70. I'd have to look for sure. It is super nice. Cosmetically, it's fair to good. It does have uh, some little paint dings here along the front edge. And it does have some paint dings here along the flat part of the deck. Of course, these minor cosmetic flaws do not um, affect the performance of the machine. This is 1.2 amp, all metal. It's the long deck Kenmore, which means it needs to be put in a Kenmore carrying case or a cabinet. It does not fit in the Singer carrying cases and cabinets, like most other machines. And check out my uh, listings because I should have a carrying case available. And they will ship separately if you decide to buy a case. Um, this has built-in stitches, multi-stitch zigzag, straight zigzag, and blind and it also uses the top hat cams under the little door in the top. Adjustable stitch width. This is your stitch elongator which stretches out or pulls in your stitches without adjusting the stitch length. Stitch length, reverse button, and this is your pattern selector, feed dog drop, and power. Bottom winder of course on the top. There's full pins here on the back. Every pattern can be sewn with a double needle. This, this machine is totally double needle capable even the reverse or the stretch patterns. It is a super high shank machine, um, which is pretty much only a Kenmore trait. This little insertable needle plate here flips around from straight to zigzag so you don't have to change the whole needle plate. It uses class 15 bobbins, 15 by 1 needles, and of course it has the buttonhole drive here. And it comes with the tower. And the tower's cool because included with the tower is a whole layer of the super high shank presser feet and attachments. It has hemmers, edge stitcher, binder, gathering foot, zipper foot, overcast foot. And there's all kinds of goodies in there. Uh, buttonholer. The buttonholer does only have two templates, but the buttonholer does fit the machine. A complete set of 30 cams, including the single and the double stack. And then the top layer is just like a little storage area. It's got some bobbins, a needle threader, this is a seam ripper, and the whole deal. Um, show you a little bit of what it does. Now, I do not have the original manual for the machine, but you will get the PDF copy via email once you buy the machine. I will send the send the manual to you by email. Nice working machine. Typical of these Kenmore. I used it all last night last night to make a couple quilt tops. So it's it's ready to go. I hate to get, you know, I love these Kenmore. But I don't do enough sewing to keep these models has a five millimeter wide zigzag and you can get six quarters to seven quarters under the presser foot and that will be shown in the photos and that's typical of these Kenmores also. But I mean if you're into a sewing machine that will pretty much you know handle anything, do anything, this would be one of those machines. It's very very nice. I'm going to put in one of the stretch cams. This looks like a leaf or a vine. <laughs> Put it on cam setting. See the pattern going up and back, and this is where your stitch elongator comes in. You can adjust in tiny increments how long or short you want your pattern. Very, very neat. I'm sorry you can't hardly see the baby blue thread on here, but it's kind of like a vine. Cool. Now, if you don't want your stitches to be messed up, just make sure you take your cam out because um, if you leave the cam in there, even if you put it, take it off of cam setting, if you try to 
so a straight stitch, it'll still pull up and back with the feed dogs. So you got to make sure you take your cam out. Um, do six layers of denim. I'm using a size 16 needle. Pulls it through like nothing. Ooh, my light just fell. That's good. Nice, perfect stitch. Actually, turn up my tension a little. This is 14 layers. It's a more chintzy fabric. I'm not sure what it is, but. layers going there. Very nice. And last but not least, we're going to do three layers of garment leather. three layers of garment leather. Guess my bobbin ran out. Yep. Bobbin ran out of thread. So I was doing it. It just ran out of thread. Nice. Easy fix. New bobbin. And we'll just run through it again. Make sure you get two clicks on the bobbin. Did you hear the second click? If you don't get that second click, it's not in there right. You can get that second click or it'll fall out. All right, two layers of leather again. is the Kenmore 1601 1.2 amp cam machine, all metal, with the original accessories that all stack into a tower. 1601.